You in every way, woman. Every way women are concerned about real health issues and topics. Stay tuned as we get real about our health. We're back with every way woman, and real women may do it all, but they are not invincible. Healthcare is so important to every way woman. It is really important. It's very important that we create segments that's going to give women as, and men as much information as possible. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like on talk shows, they, it has, I think they glamorize illness. Yes, they do. They kind of make it, uh, they do it. They glamorize it. They make it like, wow, this next cure, this next thing, where it's really, when it happens to you and your health is down, it, that's not how it well, is. Well, and the healthcare shouldn't be treated as something trendy. Yes. And that's what it seriously. has turned into. And we, as um, patients, we go into the, we already go into the unknown, and we really don't know what's going to happen. So we're trying to give uh, or create segments where people know what questions to ask now. Mm -hmm. Because I know when my husband goes to the doctor, I make the appointment, I tell the nurse or the uh, secretary on the uh, other line. Check him for this, 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 and this. Well, what's he's interesting. Not, he's going to remember. Well, it, because we all, let's not lie, we all mm -hmm. go on the internet and we self-diagnose. Yes. yes. <laughs> we Google everything. <laughs> Which is, I mean, it's a really bad habit of mine. I'm not going to lie. Well, here's the thing is that, the, you know, the, well, what is regulated on the internet, on search mm -hmm. engines, is very minuscule. So people can put things out there that say that they do things they don't actually do. It's not until it's on the label that the FDA is uh, regulated. Well, it. and what's interesting is actually there are a lot of talk shows in the hot seat right now for endorsing these trends yes, and endorsing true. these yes, medications yes, and pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. without the proof. And, mm -hmm. you know, the viewers, the audience, the real women and men out there are trusting us. Yes. We want to be yes. able to give them the truth. Yes. Yes. I found our segments really useful for me being single, somebody mm -hmm. that never really looked into going to the doctor when I was younger. Were you scared but, of that? No, I was just living my life. But now it's yeah. like everything, I feel like, oh, my God, my back hurts. What is it? Right. You know? and, sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes the truth isn't pretty. No. And sometimes mm -hmm. the solution isn't easy. Mm -hmm. But my point was like going back to the segments that I watch, even when I'm on set, it's like, wow, that I didn't know that. And you're right. You and know, what she said about that. the truth not being pretty. It wasn't pretty for me to be in my 30s to find out that I have menopause. It was a lot. I was like, what is going yeah. on? But it what was more you... disappointing with the doctors who mm -hmm. wouldn't admit it. And they say, oh, no, you're too young. They didn't listen to you. <laughs> and you know listen. your body better than anyone. And exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of people d miss over, is that, that quite often they're already intuitively understanding what it is that they need mm -hmm. or what's going on. But that having that intuition doesn't always help because sometimes that intu intuition is scary. Well, and, and they don't want to know. And it's so great for me to be able to have you ladies to discuss that with. And I know maybe even for some of you as well, because when you talk to your grandmothers or your mothers, <laughs> they're not exactly always open with it. Yolanda has a really funny story I talked to this. my mom about, uh, and grandmother about menopause. I said, hey, you know, what time did you, you know, what age were you when you went into menopause? Oh, I don't remember. And my doctor told me to take tongues. Tongues. <laughs> and I'm like, really? yeah. tongues. I'm going to help. And I, it is from, for minorities, it's already a struggle for us to even talk about. Why? I don't know why. We hope, my mom knew she had a lump in her breast for at least two to four years before she said anything that turned out to wow. be breast cancer. Right. And it's so not why, uncommon. Why wouldn't she say something? They think it's God, God's will. Right. And, but also it's not uncommon because if you think about those generations going back, they just didn't talk about those mm -hmm. things. It was a no-no. Once it was said, it was solidified. Well, the Latinos are different. The Latinos, every, well, no, no. not Latinos. <laughs> my, in my family, they talk about, oh, my God, mi hija me duele esto. And, like, they're always yeah. complaining. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My mom this took hurts. me to school with the chicken pox and told me that it was mosquito bites in the middle of winter. No. <laughs> yeah, it's because she didn't want no. to face that there was something wrong with us or that we were sick. And we had to be sent home by, you know, principal to go, uh, you can't send chicken. your kids to school with chicken pox. You know what's Are interesting? You serious? <laughs> when, oh my God. when I was younger and still to this day, I try and just, you know, power through. And I think women do that a lot rather mm -hmm. than, you know, we listen to our bodies, but we're trained to tolerate so much pain, whether it's through our home, hormones That's or menstrual true. cycles. And That's we say, like, oh, it's just another mm -hmm. pain. I'll get through this. Oh, it's a headache. I'll get. And we don't yes. necessarily always listen to the signs that we mm -hmm. need to be listening to. And we need to listen to those signs. Those signals are coming clear because I, this is my thing. If you don't take care of it now, it's going to cost you more later. And that's the message that we we'll keep trying to hammer home mm -hmm. here on every way. Preventative right. care. But not yes, just that. As, exactly. If, if you understand what's going on and you can relate that to someone in our audience and they're connecting to it, it might give them that opportunity to then connect and reach out, go go to the site or or 
or go take a doctor's visit. And I'll Google. Watch your <laughs> right, yeah, and I'll watch Google. Watch Google. Watch Google. <laughs> Google isn't always right. No, it isn't. I love Google, but well, and just because you have health insurance, you might not have health care. And it's really great to learn how to navigate that system and, you know, sort that through, especially with what our government's, you know, trying to figure out right now. Mm -hmm. Having and getting forum to yeah. discuss it. And getting important. real information. Even if it's really scary. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Stay with us for tomorrow's stars. Are you in every way, woman?